Salim Petroleum Development, SPD, is a joint venture established on a 50-50 basis by Shell and the Russian oil company Evichon, which is controlled by Sibir Energy PLC. Since 2003, SPD has been developing the Salim Group of oil fields, which are located in the Khanti Mansi Autonomous Okrug, West Salim, Upper Salim, and Vadilip. During this time, a major modern oil production facility was built here. SPD and its contractors constructed the field facilities and brought them on stream at a rapid pace unheard of in Western Siberia. As early as in the summer of 2006, SPD joined the ranks of the Russian oil companies with the annual production exceeding 1 million tons. In a very short period of time, we've delivered the pipelines, we've delivered the facilities, we've drilled 450 wells. And as a result of all of this, we've achieved a production level that is now around about 160,000 barrels a day. They've done all this on schedule, on cost. This is a great achievement. The world-class oil production facilities built in the Salim fields are a reflection of the motto that characterized SPD during the construction phase. Best team, best project. The company has made the transition from construction into the operational phase. SPD has an ambitious goal for this phase, which is best expressed using the new motto of SPD, best team, best operator. The first ton of SPD commercial oil was produced in December 2004. By the end of 2009, the cumulative Salim Fields production volume exceeded 20.5 million tons. The production increase is, in the main part, the result of extensive drilling operations. Based on the observations from a scouting exercise and comprehensive study of well construction methods and techniques used in Russia, the company developed its own drilling operation strategy. This strategy relies on the best Russian drilling equipment and operational experience, plus the application of organizational and technological solutions that have been proven by the Shell Group and other international companies. Such combination of different operational cultures helps achieve optimal performance. As you can see here, with, uh, we are on PET 21, rig number two as we call it. Our actual operation started with uh, a similar rig, it's a BU 4500, made by Uralmas. When we started off with this rig, we got that Uralmas rig from SSK and we converted a little bit to our needs. The biggest example I can bring to your attention here is the top drive, which is safer. It allows us to drill further with bigger outsteps. Over time, the outsteps increased up to 2,500 meters. Also, many so-called sub-horizontal wells penetrate the producing formation at 80 to 85 degree angles. This provides the opportunity to increase oil recovery and optimize the number of wells. SPD has introduced new organizational and managerial approaches. In the first place, it's about the concept of drilling optimization, also known as drilling the limit. The first well was drilled within 33 days, whereas the average drilling time today is down to less than 11 days. In 2009, SPD drilled its fastest well of 2,367 meters. In July 2009, we drilled a four and a half day well, a record by SPD, a record for Siberia, top class drilling performance. In the Siberian region, around us people find hard to believe that any well can be drilled at this pace. The company's drilling performance has been recognized externally. SPD Well Engineering Department has been a winner of the Shell EP Global Performance Awards for well delivery and completions and well interventions on three separate occasions. Coring is one of the important drilling operations in the field. The core sample is a major source and carrier of information not only about the rock properties, but also about the reservoir oil saturation. The longer the core, the more information it can provide. In SPD, we started coring four years ago. We cut the reservoir per six or 12 meters at a time. We brought a bit of our own experience together with the contractor, Sibur Marsh, 
and we have been able to progress this 6 to 12 meter to 18, 27 and now routinely 36 meter. We have brought the time with a savings of more than 50%. What was taking us before 5, 6 days is taking us now about 2 days. Excellent quality and 100% recovery of core allows SPD geophysicists to identify pay intervals and water to oil contacts in different parts of the field. More importantly, comparing core with logging data produces a comprehensive picture of the properties of the pay interval which is used to optimize production. In 2008, a 48 and a half meter length of core was recovered from a well in the West Salim field. The well was cored in one run with 100% recovery. This 48.5 meters in one run is the longest core recovered from Salim fields to date. Shorter drilling time means lower capital expenditure and higher economic efficiency. SPD employs the same approach in well completions using new technologies. One of these is the underbalanced perforation that allows the performance of several operations simultaneously, reducing completion time. The main advantage of this technology is that we do not have to stop the well after perforation. Downhole equipment is installed in the well together with the guns and the well starts producing immediately after perforation. Initially, completion at Salim Fields took about 14 days. This technology allows reducing the completion time to four days. The technology of underbalanced perforation not only reduces the time required to put a well into production, but also improves oil recovery. SPD is one of the few operators to run well completions with ESP and a Y tool. The advantage of this technology is the ability to run a production logging tool, PLT, below a working ESP at any stage during production without pulling the completion strain. Flow rates in different perforation intervals and other valuable geophysical information will now be collected for production optimization and enhanced recovery plans. SPD operates reservoirs where the oil is trapped in different non-connected layers. In order to have good reservoir management and quantify the oil production from each layer, the company employs smart wells technology. In SPD, the way we use is we have two reservoirs, both perforated. In between those reservoirs is a packer and we use a flow meter and pressure and temperature gauges to allocate flow and calculate water cut from the different reservoirs. Data is gathered on a continuous basis. And at the same time, the well is produced at its optimum rate, without the need to shut down for measurements. These smart wells create considerable cost efficiencies and reduce environmental impact with fewer well pads and field facilities. Electrical submersible pumps, ESPs, are the main artificial lift system in Russia, accounting for more than 50% of overall oil production. In SPD, all oil producers are equipped with ESPs. SPD has started from day one the implementation of innovative techniques and new technologies to ensure optimum operation of the downhole submersible systems. Our observed mean time between failure to date is about 700 days, which is much more higher when compared to other operating units. Various solutions are applied to improve reliability, service life and economic performance of ESPs. Permanent magnet motors represent one of these solutions. Such motors have a number of advantages compared to traditional asynchronous motors. They consume 15 to 20 percent less power, have a higher efficiency and operate within a broader range of speeds. Permanent magnet motors have a smooth start ensuring high mechanical reliability of the whole pump assembly. Low flow rate wells have always created problems for ESPs. A high pressure progressive cavity pump with a permanent magnet motor may help overcome the operational problems with these wells. 
The motor is capable of operating in the low speed area, increasing the time between failures. SPD is the first company in Russia and Shell to install a 2,000 meter head PCP with a permanent magnet motor in West Salim. During operations, ESPs can fail due to a variety of reasons. In SPD, nearly 40% of ESP failures are caused by scaling on ESP working parts. To combat this, SPD has employed downhole chemical canisters containing a solid reagent. This canister releases a metered supply of salting inhibitors in the formation fluid in order to stop scaling and corrosion of the submersible equipment. Using well canisters with solid reagents causes no disruption to other production technologies nor degrades tank oil quality while the mean time between failure increases. Covering ESP rotating parts with Riton polymer represents another efficient approach to prevent scale buildup. In one of its ambitious projects in artificial lift, SPD is developing an ESP that would be run downhole on a reinforced cable without tubing. This pump assembly will produce well fluids directly from the production casing. This technology will simplify and accelerate well completions and workovers will not require hoists. One geological peculiarity of SPD's license areas is the proximity of water-bearing reservoirs to the production formation, which complicates hydrofracturing operations. Instead, SPD and Sibir Energy engineers have suggested using a diesel-based gel to deliver propane to the well. The main advantage of the gel over water-based fluids is greater mobility. It allows modifying the frac properties during operation, managing the behavior and growth of the fractures, and preventing them from reaching water-bearing formations. SPD's experience shows that diesel-based gel fracs improve well flow rates between 50 to 100 percent. During field development, SPD introduces novel ways of working that will allow monitoring and managing oil production and water injection volumes in a more efficient and effective way. This project is called Well Reservoir Management. The project is fundamentally about how best we can manage our reservoirs to increase production, increase ultimate recovery and contain OPEX costs. It includes the implementation of Shell Smart Fields Foundation Mark I technology which will enable us to transmit information from the well site to the control room in real time 